Did you know you can start dropshipping with very small investment? Create your Shopify online store for as little as $3 for three months. Do you want to know how? If you want to learn more about Shopify and get all the details on how to set up your store online, you're in the right place. Deezers is here to tell you everything you need to know about Shopify dropshipping. From setting up your store to managing your first orders, this step-by-step -step guide is here to give you all the knowledge you need to get started easily so you can dive right into it and get your first sale and grow. Working online is great, as you just need internet, and I love it. Dozens of platforms are available to help you start your own business, and Shopify is one of them. It's an e-commerce platform to start, manage, grow, and scale your online store. And if you've had the chance to check out the Shopify App Store, you've probably discovered hundreds of apps that cover everything from A to Z, making it a fantastic option for running your dropshipping business. But before we go to Shopify, I want to take just a quick minute to remind you why it can be the right place to start your dropshipping business. Shopify interface and features are simple and easy to use. You won't have to spend too much time getting used to it. This means that you don't need any technical knowledge. You can build your dropshipping store the way you want. Shopify has as many built-in tools as you may think that are developed specifically for store setup and marketing. For example, if you want to customize your store, there are tons of themes you can choose from, but also design features that may come in handy. The App Store has thousands of apps available, some free, some not, for all your needs, to empower your dropshipping business. From creating a stunning store to making your brand stand out, everything's there. You can check app ratings to select the best one. For example, you can install PageFly to help you design your store and make it more unique. There are also dropshipping tools like Deezers that can help dropshippers manage their suppliers, product, and orders efficiently. Make sure to check the video description for a link to Deezer's Shopify dropshipping service page. You can click that link to check how it works with Shopify and how it helps you grow your dropshipping business. First things first, you need to sign up for a Shopify account. So if you don't have one, just go to shopify.com slash free trial to register your Shopify account. Shopify is not completely free as we all know, right? But did you know that you can just start it without spending much? You can indeed use Shopify for three days, free trial. But you can also pay just $1 per month for three months. That's a great deal because you have three months to test your dropshipping business with Shopify with little money spent on the platform. This video is made for helping you quickly set up your store so you can save enough time and focus on getting your first order. So now, let's go ahead. To sign up, you need an email, obviously. You need an email that works well so that you can send and receive important messages from Shopify. For survey questions, it's okay to skip all of them. You also need to decide where your business will be located and choose a country here. As new users, you may need to follow this path to register an account. Enter the email and the password and click Create Shopify Account. After a while or several minutes, you will be taken to your Shopify dashboard. All right, our Shopify account is created. This is where the serious stuff begins. Account done. Now it's time for one of the most important things you need for success, the products. Products are the core of your business. So remember to take your time here to determine your target products. Do you want to sell generic products or do you want to have a niche store? Check our previous video to learn how to do product research. You normally need to manually create your products and then you need to edit them on Shopify, but it can be really time consuming. It would take hours to get things going. So that's where using some third party apps is highly recommended. There are different ways to import products once you have found some that you like. For this guide, we're gonna use Deezers to import products quickly using different method. Once Deezers is installed on the Shopify store, we're going to directly to the Deezers dashboard and to install the Deezers Chrome extension. The extension is quite useful for product import, as you'll see soon. One simple way to import product is to go to the Find Suppliers page or use the extension we just installed. So let's take hats, for example. First, on the Find Supplier page, we're gonna type hat in the search box and click OK. Then. We can choose a hat we like and click add to the import list. Click check. Then we're going to click push to store here. Be sure to push the product to your newly created store and be sure to select also publish to online store. Then click push to stores. Once successfully pushed, you can see a successful notification. That's just a few clicks, right? This is because Deezers helps you to transfer all the supplier product information, such as images and description, along with the product to your Shopify store. You may be thinking, why should I use an app to import products, right? Well, 
is to avoid having to manually create all those products on Shopify and waste hours. That's where the third-party apps come in, right? If you prefer to import directly from AliExpress, no problem with the extension we installed just before. Get on AliExpress and search for a hat. Then pick one product and hover on it. Just click on Add to Deezers and the product will be imported to Deezers. It's as simple as that, right? We can check on Deezers import list to find the product you imported and then send it to your Shopify store. Check the first comment for a special link to install Deezers. Now, let's head to Shopify to check our imported products. You need to modify the product listing to make it unique and shiny because customers will pay a lot of attention to basic products information before they make a purchase. Let's start with the product title. We can follow two rules when we optimize our product title. The first to consider is SEO. This means you need to include the product keywords and descriptive words in the product name so that people can locate your store product easily when they search online. Another is to think about your marketing strategies. Put simply, use attractive words that will make customers notice your product. It's also important to edit the product description, right? Make sure it's attractive, informative, and provides all the necessary information. Try to think as a potential customer here. What info do I need about this product? What would make you purchase it? A good way to improve product listing is to simply check what your competitors are doing. Competitors' research is key to success. Many tools are available to check out the competition, like the ad spying tool AdSpy. Like other similar websites, AdSpy is here to help you find the current ads running for specific products. It's quite useful for us, as it lets us do two things at once. First, we can check the competition. Are they running ads for the product I want to sell? For what price? It also helps us check the listing of our competitors. It's pretty good to be able to see what keywords they're using or how they are organizing their product listing. There's nothing wrong with checking what your neighbor is doing and make sure that if they do it better or not. We can also go to massive marketplaces like Amazon and AliExpress to check the product description of similar products and get some good ideas. It's also a good way to gather materials like pictures and videos to include in the product page. We can also use tools like EasyGIF to cut GIFs from products videos. After we are done with that work, we can go back to Shopify to edit our product description. For media, we need to improve the product presentation by focusing on three key factors. First, your product should not be put randomly. They need to have specific order, showing the different use, for example. It needs to tell a story. It's also better to show different angles of the product. Front, back, sides, everything's useful. And finally, only use high quality pictures. You want your product shown in the best way possible. Remember, picture order. Different angles and high quality are your allies to get customers interested. Once you've got the media done, you can continue with the variance editing. Let's explore two key aspects of variance optimization. First, consider aligning your variance with your sales strategy. Do you need all the variants of a specific product? Or do you want to only sell some colors or specific sizes? If so, delete the variants that you don't want to focus on. Now, let's talk pricing. Editing your product price and compare at price can be a game changer. As a beginner, you can set your prices intelligently, perhaps making the product price two or three times the product cost. But don't forget to add the shipping cost to the whole product cost, as it may vary largely depending on the warehouse location and the order destination. You can also offer discounts of up to 50% on the compare at price. This not only attracts price conscious customer, but also creates a sense of value and urgency, as you can see. In our example, the price is already okay, as we've used Deezers to import the product originally. It helps us to set up our desired price, but we can also edit our hat price manually. We can see that the cost of the variant is 47.84. Multiplied by 2.5, that gives us 119.60. So we can enter 119.60 in the price box. As for the compare at price, we will multiply 119.60 by 2, and that is 239.20. You can round up those numbers, of course, to see them at 119.99 and 239.99. We have our account, our product. Now, let's see how to customize your online store. Your store look and feel are critical for your success. You have to find a theme that reflects your business idea. Not all themes are suitable for all types of businesses. You don't want a pink flowery store if you're selling hairsoft replicas, right? Take your time here. 
browse through all the sims available and a lot of them are free, so give them a try and see what fits the best. When considering a theme, you should also carefully try their components which allow you to boost your store performance. For example, shipping costs can be a competition factor. So if you provide free shipping policies, you should highlight it store-wide. The announcement bar is the best place to eye-catch your visitors all the time, which will help you increase your sales conversion rate. Another component that you should think about is the live chat pop-up, which helps you better serve your visitors in a for-sale state, right? Along with your store general feel, you're going to need a brand logo. This will be the name your customers see and learn to like and trust. So choose it carefully. You can use some online tools like Nameleaks to enter keywords and generate a brand name that resonates with your vision. Okay? Then you can go to Canva, a user-friendly design platform, to craft your logo. There, you can experiment with the font, the color, and the various graphics. Alternatively, with all the new AI tools available, it's up to you to experiment. Ask ChatGPT for some brand name ideas. Use DALI for heart inspirations too. Do you know that Shopify itself offers a free business name generator? You can directly use it also for your own convenience. Once you're done, it's time to showcase your masterpiece. Easily upload your logo to Shopify and then through the admin dashboard, just put it online. Now, let's move on to the Shopify backend. A well-designed and engaging store creates a positive first impression, encouraging customers to explore further, right? Let's see how to configure the basic information on your homepage to make your online store look better. Hero banners are part of the first impression to your visitors, so you should carefully design it. Here's a little something to ponder. Did you ever think that the words you pick for a tiny CTA button in the hero banner could make a big difference in boosting sales? Just picture the impact those few words can have on motivating your customers to make a move. For example, try to use a verb phrase instead of starting with a noun, like buy now, try it free, learn more. You can also include some features product in the hero banner. Click the add section and over on the features product section. Do make it live and test it rapidly for the best conversion ones. Then we're going to choose the product we want to highlight. This could be the best sellers, promotional items, or new arrivals, helping direct visitors' attention and boosting conversion rates. Now, let's talk about the layout of your store front-end products page. Try to play around with announcement bar, product images, description, and arrangements to create an inviting and informatic display. This is what your customers will see. To enhance your product page, you can also import product reviews. Installing looks, for example, is a great way to seamlessly integrate customers' review into your store. It can help you import supplier product reviews and display them on your own store. Next, we're going to make some adjustments to the contact page. We can add a short description of what customers can expect. We need a physical address, phone number, email address, contact form, and customer support hours, because all of those are helpful information that you have to give. Now, Let's ensure your store is legally sound by configuring essential legal pages. Just go to Settings and click on Policies. From here, customize your return and refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service, and shipping policy. For return and refund policy, outline your terms for returns and exchanges. Which returns do you accept? How do you deal with delivery risks such as delayed and lost packages? What are the refunds rules for returns? You may also need to figure out your supplier policies at this point as you're dropshipping good from them before they're selling online. When we come to the shipping policy, we need to clearly communicate shipping times, cost, and any other relevant information. A well-defined shipping policy manages customers' expectations and reduces potential risks. If you'd like to learn more about how to edit legal pages, you can click the link in the video description to check our blog. About your website, if you don't have a domain yet, you can purchase one by clicking on Buy New Domain and follow the prompts to search for and purchase a domain. If you already own a domain from a third-party provider, click on Connect Existing Domain. Enter the domain name and then follow the instruction. After connecting or purchasing a domain, set it as a primary domain if needed. This is the domain that customers will see when they visit your store. And as a final touch, we are also going to add a favicon to our store. A favicon is just a small logo that people will see on their browser. Like the brand logo, you can also use canva.com and remove.bg 
to create a favicon with a transparent background. Then upload it to your store theme settings and visitors will see it in their browser window. Now it's time to configure payment, taxes and shipping settings. It sounds boring, I know, but tailoring those aspects to your business model and customer's needs is crucial for a smooth shopping experience. Let's begin with setting up shipping methods and rates. Let's go to settings and then click shipping and delivery. Here, you can customize your shipping methods, whether it's flat rate, weight based or carrier calculated. Specify shipping zones and rates to match your business model and customer's expectation. Then we can go back to settings and select payments. Here, you can set up payment providers and methods that suits your business. Shopify supports various payment gateways, including credit cards, digital wallets, and alternative payment methods. But if you're flying solo, PayPal is also a solid option. But here's the catch. Some options are a no-go for individuals and are only available for local groups. Also, don't forget to check where your target market is because PayPal might not be available in countries like Sudan, Pakistan, Iraq, and more. Finally, we can access taxes and duties and customize tax settings based on the rules of each country or region where you do business. You'd better specify tax rate, exemption, and thresholds to ensure compliance and accurate tax calculation during checkout. For instance, if you're dropshipping to Brazil, it's crucial to ask your customers for their CPF numbers before they hit that submit button when they check out. If you skip this step, you might run into trouble meeting the customs clearance requirement set by the Brazilian regulation. We have more guides and tips for taxes in the video descriptions if you want to learn more about those. Congratulations, you set your Shopify store up. Now you can launch your store. Let's access online store and click preferences. Edit the home page title and the meta description. That's what appears in Google search. Then you can scroll to the password protection section and deselect this to open the store access to visitors. Now it's all about marketing your products. Once you have received your first order, you will have to process it. Again, you can use Deezers or other tools to help you with that and save time. In Deezers, any new orders will go to a waiting order. You just need to place the order to your supplier, pay for it, and then the order will be fulfilled by your supplier and the hardest part of the job is done. That's all for this video. We mentioned a lot of different things, so don't hesitate to navigate in the video as you need. We'll be releasing more guides soon, so please like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any question or if there is anything you'd like to learn more about. We also publish videos on how to do product research and find suppliers. Feel free to check them too, and happy dropshipping.